The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. I am Dustin Starr alongside my lovely Maria. Thank you for joining us. There has been a group terrorizing Championship Wrestling for quite some time. Today we will take a look at the formation of the team known as Static. Love them or hate them, Adrian Quest and Andy Brown currently hold the United World Tag Team titles and Ray Rosas is not only the Arizona State Champion, but he's the PP3 cupbearer as well. These guys are loaded. And don't forget, Ray Rosas gets a title opportunity whenever and wherever he wants, and he's made it known he's coming for Watts and his heritage title. Speaking of Watts and Ray Rosas, they actually squared off in a match previously. It was actually the start of the Ray Rosas that we know today. Ray Rosas versus Watts is up first. And you'll hear a familiar voice on commentary this week. Let's head to the ring. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Jordan Clearwater from Antelope Valley, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ray Rosas. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Ray Rosas looks intense. He looks like he's got his game face on, and he better, because he's going to be in there with Watts. Mm. And introducing his opponent, this is Watts. And gentlemen, the mood changes when this guy, this monster, the squash god Watts, enters the room. <laughs> you talk about a, a day and night and differences in how these two wrestlers have been performing of late. Rosa's trying to teach Clearwater but having some trouble and Watts has just been going through the competition of late, Todd. My, Watts. my Maria and I watch Watts every single week just decimate his opponents and to be here to see it live and in person. If Maria's watching, which I know she is, Watts is even bigger than he looks on TV. Gotta be here live to just take it all in, see how massive this monster is. But don't sleep on the veteran Ray Rosas. Now Rosas, he needs this win. He's challenging Watts. He knows what Watts has been doing. And Rosas knows he's been in trouble. He needs this win. You're right, this is a huge opportunity. What a victory, what a huge victory this would be for Ray Rosas. Big fight feel here in this one. Two of the greats in the history of this program. And listen to the people. Ooh, Watts saying, what happened to you, Ray? Where's Ray Rosas? Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Already calling for the, oh, a knockout shot. No, no, not like this. Not that. Wow. Oh my. Here, your winner. I don't even know what to say. Watts. The squash god making a statement like never before. Rosas, a former television champion, a former tag team champion. Numerous times he got dropped with a single shot. Wow. Jordan Clearwater, just like us, cannot believe what we just saw. That's it. I don't even, I really, I am really at a loss for words, and you do not hear me saying that often. This is Ray Rosas. I know he's had trouble the last few weeks or whatever it's been, but but this is Ray Rosas. You said it. Tag champ, TV champ. He's, he's done almost everything. Wow. Look at how he's taken this. Just distraught. You can see the disappointment. The anguish on the face of Rosas. Somebody get him some milk. Continues to unravel here. I mean, he's he's had some losses, sure, but he's been competitive. This was decisive. Wow. He, I, he has taken this really, really hard. Yeah, right in the center of the ring, too, in front of everybody. 
I mean, I can't even imagine the last time I seen anybody lose after a one punch knockout, let alone Ray Rosas. Maybe he's going to explain himself here. I, I always told myself that when wrestling stopped being fun, um, I just wouldn't do it anymore. Uh, and I don't know if it's just, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not good enough anymore. Maybe I just can't hang anymore. Maybe, maybe it's, I mean, it could be because the championship wrestling from Hollywood never really put me in positions to succeed. Because, because when the company doesn't have faith in you, how can you have faith in yourself? And I've been the guy that's always been getting back up and to continue fighting, but you know what? Getting up is getting harder every single time. So I don't know, maybe, no, I, no, I do know. I think it's time to quit. I'm done with Chance from Hollywood. I'm done with United Wrestling. I'm done. Wrestling as a whole, that's it, I'm done. Ray, wait. No, Ray, Ray. Ray. my eyes, Ray. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. I need you. I need you. They need you in the back, and we all know, most importantly, they, they need you, Ray. They need you. They need you! So what do you say? What do you say? I say, screw those fans, screw everybody in the back, and screw you! Ray Rosa has some thorns left. We thought we maybe had seen the end of his career. We've certainly seen the end of this union with Clearwater, his relationship with the fans, and it seems with his words, the relationship with this company, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. This is not the great that we've come accustomed to see. We'll be back. Memphis weather can be tricky, and so can repairing a roof, but not with Pro Shingle. Complicated insurance claims are easy with Pro Shingle. They'll handle that process for you. Pro Shingle offers free estimates and have financing plans in place so they can help you right now. Be sure to ask about their new roof shampoo. Locally owned and operated, fully licensed and insured, it's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com, 901-258-6503, and let Pro Shingle help today. COVID-19 is spreading, but here are some tips you can do to protect yourself. Wash your hands often. Keep a social distance of at least three feet. Cough into your elbow. Your face, don't touch it. And of course, if you feel sick, stay home. Let's all do our part to flatten the curve. 
New Wing Order is your main event for award-winning wings featuring more than 20 flavors ranging from mild to scorching hot. New Wing Order has options for all tastes. Looking to bring that award-winning flavor to your oh, pantry? Yeah. Purchase bottles of their Championship Memphis Buffalo Sauce by visiting newwingorder.com or from the fine retailers such as Luke Casey's and Tim Bowley's. I love this stuff. Book them for their services or catering at newwingorder.com or you can find the food truck by following at New Wing Order. What we do. Oh, yeah. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Let's call you out on this. You've been helping her a, a lot at these matches lately. Um, how dare you? First of all, there's been a couple of assists. I mean, you guys. Are... Listen, when it comes down to it, Michael Jordan needed a Scotty Pippen. Kobe Bryant needed a Shaq. CBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. Welcome back. That was one of the most compelling stories of 2019, the Ray Rosa saga. Oh, boy. You can watch episode 22 right now on our official YouTube page at CW30 Wrestling. I still have a contract with a blank date to fight Ray Rosas. That's probably another story for another day, and that one-punch loss that I had the pleasure of calling, I think it woke something up in Ray Rosas. Up next, it's Andy Brown's turn. Just like Ray Rosas, he snapped. It's tag team action vermin squaring off against the team of Bateman and Andy Brown, and you're going to want to stick around to the end for this one. Let's take a look. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first... The team of Johnny Yuma and Kevin Martinson, Vermin! Well, we were told Man, that Mike, Vermin had asked hey, for this music. time that they had something to say. Vermin well, let's hear from ran them. this tag team division for a long time. And since we came back, we have not been impressed. So, we're going to make an open challenge right now to any two dum-dums that can figure out how to do this to come on out right now and fight us. Johnny Yuma issuing the challenge and opens. Uh-oh, careful what you wish for. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Whoa, what a duo. That is insane, Kennelly. One mad man is bad enough, but then you throw in Brown in the mix, too. This is insane. Vermin, you might want to leave. You might want to leave. This isn't a good spot for you to be in. Run! Vermin trying to get the early advantage. They issued the open challenge, answered by none other than the main man, Bateman. Former television champion many times over. Former heritage champion, Uptown Andy Brown. You wanted a fight? You got one. Absolutely, and a fight is what we're gonna get. Uh, Kennelly, this is not a good spot for Vermin to be in. I'm honestly very, very scared for these guys. This is not good, not only for the match, but for their health. They have no reason to be here. You have nothing to prove. I believe in you. Walk away, no one will blame you now. Action outside, inside. Yuma trying to use whatever assets he can find to get into this thing. Big right hand there. And you got... Uh, Uptown Andy Brown with Johnny Yuma's hat on. Oh no, what's Look this, Kennelly? Oh, the big man flying. Main man, it's just good to see him back in action after that hellacious matchup that he had. That bull rope match for the television championship that he had with Royce Isaacs. What a war that was, a bloody war indeed. What a war is right, Kennelly. What an absolute war. And look at, look, you can still see the cut on, on Bateman's head. He still, he still has uh, problems from that match. He may not have recovered all the way, but he's still in there, very aggressive towards Yuma. He's in there, he's tagging Andy Brown, and he knows very well that he's going to be able to win this match if he continues to punish Yuma. Yuma needs to understand Cover. he has to get out of this situation. Get out of the ring. You have no reason to be in there. Hey, come up for air, pal. And I'll tell you what, the... Uh, the words of Yuma, the derogatory statement, hey, find any two guys that can do this and make a tag. That's exactly what Andy Brown and Bateman did seconds ago, showing some teamwork. Look at that, oldest trick in the book. You want to break rules, Vermin? You taste your own medicine. Spinebuster now by Uptown Andy Brown, taking him downtown into the cover. Close call. 
Yes, absolutely a close call is right. But you know what, Kevin Martin's very smart. He's going to kick out. He, he still has a lot of his energy left. He still has a lot of his aggression left in him. And he can still methodically think his way through the rest of this match. He just needs to get his bearings a little bit. Well, Kevin Martinson always dangerous, but in the wrong part of town right now. And you got to love this teamwork by Bateman and Uptown Andy Brown, known more for their singles wrestling exploits, both former champions, both former, uh, both have won the red carpet rumble in the past, two of the very best, of the, the entirety of the United Wrestling Network. Now you think that they're doing this well now, having not teamed before, have, have not had a lot of that uh, tag team experience with each other, but they are working very cohesively as a unit. What if they beat Vermin? What if they make that statement? What if they show the world that, hey, we are actually a good tag team? Will they continue to tag? Will they be a good tag team? Will they be a force to be reckoned with? That remains to be seen, Kendall. I'd say it's clear that they're a force to be reckoned with because for quite a while, Vermin ran roughshod all over this program, did what they want to who they want, how they want, won titles, decimated the competition, and right now, the dominance is on the side of Andy Brown and the main man, Bateman, and Bateman checking back in. Look at the eyes of Martinson looking very strange there, partner. Absolutely, he knows he's in trouble. He knows he's in trouble, and back comes Bateman. Tossing him around like a rag doll, and that's not easy to do. Uh, Kevin Martinson, he weighs, what, 250, 260? You know, you can't just throw somebody in a ring like that, but Bateman has that strength because he's absolutely nuts. Tag made to Johnny Yuma, the Pied Piper. Checking back in. Well, he's gonna be playing a different tune Bateman playing a tune all over his chest. Look at the quick tags too, Ken. Look at the quick tags. Look at the quick tags between Andy Brown and Bateman. Uh, they already can feel each other. They already have that cohesiveness, that glue that a lot of experienced tag teams have. They came out with that. Not to mention the fact that individually, they have a lot of tenacity. They have a lot of viciousness and they know how to punish their opponents. These two together are very bad news for Vermin. Vermin loves to talk, Vermin loves to interfere in everybody else's business, but they might have bit off more than they can chew with this open challenge, drawing the ire as now going for the cover again is Andy Brown because Brown and Bateman have been completely in control. Absolutely, Brown and Bateman have not yet seen the other side of this. They, are, they have been in control the entire match. The entire match they have been in control. And even the hair pull from Yuma is not enough to get Andy Brown off of him. Continuing to punish, continue to be in control. Andy Brown knows that he is dominating right now. Here you see these evil clones or doppelgangers, whatever you call them, of vermin. We now know that the Saurian 2 and the Rock Nest Monsters are gonna touch down in Shenzhen, China as part of the Bash of the Bay with Middle Kingdom Wrestling coming up. So again, for more information on that, check out at MKW China for information on Instagram. What a shot there. Bateman, the big headbutt, and you gotta be careful if you're Bateman that those wounds from that Bull rope match, he could get opened up pretty easily. Absolutely, like I said, you can still see that cut on his head. He still has that gash from uh, just a short time ago with Isaacs. It, he bled for Isaacs, he, he, he just to punish him, for no other reason than to punish him, he is going to reopen that wound just to punish Furman. That's the kind of mentality that man has. A bloody war that we'll never forget between Isaacs and Bateman for the television title. But this isn't about championships, it's personal. Andy Brown going to work, and again, I'm just astonished at the tag team dominance of Andy Brown and Bateman. Absolutely, like I said, they have that cohesiveness. It's like they've known each other for years, it's like they've been teaming for years, like they have that glue already, that chemistry that experienced tag teams have. They already have a love for each other that, uh, honestly, I don't quite get, because you know these two have a face and only, only a mother could love, and maybe a face for Radio Kennedy like yours, but the fact of the matter is, they still respect each other enough to compete against Furman. Vermin trying to weather the storm. This tag team encounter continues after this on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Don't go anywhere. Pro Shingle is extending their offer for just 14 more days. That's right. Pro Shingle will pay your insurance deductible up to $1,000 on a complete roof replacement. Time is running out. Call now, 901-258-6503. 
Man, that tastes just like watermelon. That is neat. Oh, give me that oh, can, girl. I need some more pep in my step. You're over peppy. There's a line between obnoxious and peppy. Ooh, <laughs> cold. Red Bull Summer Edition Slush. Right now, it seems the world is moving fast. Things keep changing and we know it can be overwhelming. As parents, we understand your worry and concern and just know we're here with you. In the meantime, let's all use this moment to slow down a bit. Use this time to take care of yourself. To bond with your family and loved ones and lift each other up. Or just binge watch that TV <laughs> show you were trying to finish. We will all get through this as families, friends, and as a community. Remember, we're all in this together. Are you or your small business looking for a tag team partner? Tag team with Championship Wrestling. That's right. Our economy comeback rates are perfect to help let your fans and customers know when you are back in action. It's simple. Go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and click contact. Championship Wrestling joins forces with Grind City Designs to bring you the all-new Championship Wrestling Shop. All styles, all sizes, featuring the legends of classic Memphis wrestling. Pickup or delivery. <laughs> Open for business. Yes. That's right. Platinum Jewelers is back to normal business hours and they want to see you. Whether you're looking for the perfect gift for your loved one, or if you need to sell old gold and diamonds for cash, Platinum Jewelers is here to help. Locally owned and operated with two convenient locations in Memphis, Platinum Jewelers make her dreams come true. Welcome back to this unpredictable tag team encounter. Vermin and Johnny Yuma, namely doing what he can to battle back, but I don't think you want to get in a striking war with Uptown Andy Brown, one of the most prolific strikers in the game. There you see it with that big European uppercut and one for Martinson for good measure. Absolutely, in case you were wondering during the break, no worry, you didn't miss anything. Andy Brown and Bateman are still well much in control, but this might be the turning point that Vermin was looking for, Kennelly. Got that distraction by Martinson. Look out, Martinson flying through the ropes there into that spear and allowing his team to take over control in this matchup, you gotta believe, because Andy Brown's still the legal man in the matchup and he's in trouble, and who better to pick up the pieces to try and scrap that carcass than Johnny Yuma, the Pied Piper. Absolutely, the man is, is, is nasty, he stinks and he, he reeks and, 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 and he knows that and he's going to use all that nastiness to punish his opponent. They now have Andy Brown where they want him. And you know what? Bateman made a pivotal mistake. The very first one I've seen from this team, he tossed an injured Andy Brown back into opponent so, so Vermin could pick at his corpse. And look at this now, taking control. Into that big sit-down earthquake splash there. The springboard, Martinson outside, inside. Now we see some of the signature double teaming of Vermin for the first time in this matchup because they were the recipients of an early onslaught courtesy of Uptown Andy Brown and Bateman, but Vermin starts to now settle in. Absolutely, 90% of this match was all Andy Brown and Bateman, now it's all Vermin, and it's gonna be interesting to see just how much they have left in their tank, ready to punish Andy Brown with everything they have. Uh-oh, nice counter to the double team there. Andy Brown got the knees up. Martinson now just realizing it. Speaking of getting the knees up, Martinson Eaton, a big strike there, rolling through. Look at this, double COD. Concussions on delivery. But he can't capitalize, Kennelly, he can't capitalize. He's beaten down, he's tired. He needs to make that tag to the fresh man, Bateman. He needs to roll over and get Bateman in there. If Bateman doesn't come in there, Steel Vermin can take control of this match. And if looks could kill, we'd all be pushing up daisies. Did you see the eyes of the main man? And there's, look at Vermin both looking for a tag. Who are you going to find? Just now realizing they're, they're there in the ring together. Bateman checks in. Vermin doing their best to divide and conquer. Good luck. Bateman now taking control of both men. Bateman is very scary. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that. Kevin Martins and Mary very lucky. We're taking control now with Bateman. Now bringing out Yuma perhaps to get Bateman where, where they need to be. But Bateman puts the boot up. This cannot be good. Bateman showing some agility now as well, flying knee. 
I hope Vermin enjoyed their Thanksgiving dinner because they might have to stick to soft foods after this. The Tombstone pile driver. Hook of the leg, is that going to do it? Martinson makes the save. That was absolutely nasty, Kenley. That would have been it, honestly. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm a fair man. I'll let you know that, that Kevin Martinson saved the day for Yuma. Yuma already got punished. His neck is in a place where it was not at when he first came into this uh, arena today. And now he is hurting. His neck is busted. And he's, everything is going to rely on, on Kevin Martinson's next, next move. Andy Brown checking back in. Martinson trying to put on the brakes. Does so, standing switch. Brown and Martinson jockeying for position. Two of the most dynamic competitors in all the United Wrestling Network going toe to toe. What a unique matchup this is. Hitting from behind, Johnny Yuma, surprise, surprise. Johnny Yuma, Kevin Martinson, you know you can say whatever you want about Andy Brown and Bateman. Yes, they have that cohesiveness. Yes, they have that, that chemistry together. But Yuma and, and Kevin Martinson have been teaming together for too long, too long. They know all the tricks, they know all the tactics. Look out here, uh oh. Caught him, and now right into perhaps, perhaps some weapons grade polonium. Well, that was, that's it, Kennelly. That's it, Furman got him where they want him. No, couldn't put him away. I am shocked, Kennelly. I am shocked, and more shocked than me is Yuma. Look at him, look at the referee. That was three, that was three. And I guess when Furman does that, Double team, what do you call it? Maybe dumpster diving? Oh, you know, you, I don't understand why you're such a mean person, Kennelly. I don't understand why you're such a mean person. Did your mother not love you? Sometimes. It's probably justified, however. Look out here, uh-oh. Back in now, double teaming the other way. Short form strike. Wow, what do these two have in mind? Whoever it was, got sidetracked there. Big shot. By Bateman. I don't even want to see what's coming up next. What do they have planned? Oh, oh my no! God! The kick into the pile driver just spiked him. That's going to do it. What a win! Here are your winners the team of Uptown Andy Brown and Bateman! Yuma took a shot to the face right into the pile driver and Vermin came out here talking a good game, but they're gonna they're gonna have some serious egg on their face after this. This team com combining here, Uptown Andy Brown and Bateman, two superpowers. We might be looking at the next dominating force in tag team wrestling, Kennelly. We have not seen this before. We have not seen a team go out there and do that to Vermin like they did. These two already have that cohesiveness, and now going back over. What is Ray doing on the ramp right now? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me he's joining these two. Well, his attitude, he'd fit right in, wouldn't oh, he? Oh, Ray Rosa, smart, very smart. Go with Vermin, go with Vermin, Ray. What? What? What is, what is Andy Brown doing? A pile driver? He just teamed with that man. You guys beat one of the most dominant forces in the history of this program. What in the hell? Kennelly, what did we just witness today? Ray Rosas, Andy Brown, join, I, I was gonna just applaud the forging of the of friendship of Bateman and Andy Brown, but that's certainly thrown right out the window and now another pile driver, first on the apron, now on the floor, and Bateman, Bateman's not moving. Bateman might have a broken neck, Kennelly. You know, we we, we, we talk about wrestling and, and, and being uh, tactical and, and being malicious, and that's fine and dandy, but this, I have never seen something like this, Kennelly. What is Andy Brown thinking right now? And look at this. Like a pulling the strings almost, like a puppet master there, Ray Rosas. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Get the cameras off of these guys. Look, can we go to break or something? This is what we are doing while we socially distance ourselves. Playing football, playing video games, taking the dogs on walks. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. 
Last week on Championship Wrestling, MJF versus Willie Mack. That's why I'm better than you, and you know. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Then it was women's division action with Simone Cherie challenging Killer Bay Heather Monroe with Alston Body. And finally, in our main event, it was Royce Isaacs versus Bateman in a bloody bull rope match. Featuring never before heard commentary from Royce Isaacs. Catch this episode in full on our official YouTube page at CW30 Wrestling. Memphis in May is wrapping up at www.stspod.club. I kicked it off with my top 10 Memphis tag teams. Now my Maria has a list of her own. I count down the top 10 slaps. Guess who's on the list? Me? <laughs> Absolutely. And you have great company in WWE Hall of Famers and Memphis Legends. Oh boy. Listen now. www.stspod.club. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Howdy. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you're definitely getting there, Dustin, and I appreciate the effort. And uh, let's go. <clears throat> Howdy. <laughs> BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-604-0483. That's 1-800-604-0483. Welcome back. An excellent tag team match followed by a vicious attack. Sneak attacks seem to be what Static is known for. Yeah, watch episode 35 in full on our official YouTube channel. It's main event time and this rounds out the deadly group known as Static. Adrian Quest. That's right. Adrian Quest who won the United TV title from Royce Isaacs or so we thought. We'll take a look at what went down with Nico Marquez and then their championship match from Milestone. Royce Isaacs defends against Adrian Quest next. I told you all. Sky, Scorpio Sky said he was the best. I told you I was the ultimate. Shut up. Bateman said he was the main man. Well, look who's the last man standing. You can put a dollar sign on that, and you can put a dollar sign on everything, because I'm going to be TV champ forever. How about this? Oh, no. Young Fuego. Looks like he's ready to answer this challenge. And the crowd is behind him. The crowd is behind him. Are we looking, perhaps? Oh, look at that, all fun and games. Oh, yeah. You? You? Really? Adrian, Mr. Quest. Really? Oh, don't encourage him. Come on. This is cute. This is cute. You really think you have a chance against Royce Isaacs? Mr. Quest, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to inform you that anybody in my upper class can reach you. Jamie Iovine taking the challenge of young Fuego very lightly, but I'll tell you what, you play with Fuego, you just might get burned. Young Fuego, Adrian Quest, set for one-on-one -on -one competition. The impressive youngster came out to kind of answer the call of television champion Royce Isaacs, only to kind of have it laughed off by Jamie Iovine. Jamie Iovine claiming that he himself could defeat Adrian Quest. If they're so confident, why don't they give this kid a shot? 
see what he's all about. Phoenix Splash! If I recall, if I recall, who said even you could beat me? If that's so, how about you put your money where your mouth is? And once I'm done kicking your ass, Royce, I'm coming for that TV title. What's good? You're asking if I'm worried, if me and Royce are worried? Not at all. I'm facing Adrian Quest, all five foot nothing on him on, on his best day. You see, I know what's on the line, but if you think me and Royce are gonna show any sort of concern over this pipsqueak, you're out of your mind. Royce has taught me almost everything he knows. I've been training with my upper class for months for this. Not that I need it. I know what's on the line. I know what's at stake but I'm confident that we're gonna take everything home. It's gonna be a walk in the park. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Royce Isaacs, now residing in his lavish estate in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the chairman and CEO of the upper class, Jamie Ivey. Introducing his opponent from the Quest Coast, weighing in at 162 pounds, Young Fuego, Adrian West. Ryan Bean was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and it's gonna get shoved right down his throat in my estimation. Is Fuego gonna take oh, advantage? No. 40 ounce bounce, 40 ounce bounce. He's gonna have to eat some big time humble pie here. Oh. He got him. <laughs> Why wait till milestone? Let's do this right now. Come on. Whoa. No, 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 no. The match is at milestone, Kennelly. Look at that. That's what it's all about. The United Television title on the line. We don't have to wait for a milestone. Just like uh, Young Fuego said, we can do it right now. And the television champion in dominant fashion, making Young Fuego think about it. Oh wow, what a beautiful power slam, incredible timing into the sign me, sign sealed, delivered, not yet. Incoming! No! Oh! But Young Fuego, digging down deep, certainly looking like a threat to the title right now. Oh, there it is, 40 ounce bounce, right into the cover, no wasted motion, there's one, two, Oh my goodness, within an eyelash. Oh my God, he's going for a hush money off the uh, uh, off the middle rope, Kelly. This could be devastating for Quest. I don't know if the champ has the footing here. He's already short one shoe. Might get slippery there and, and Quest able to fight off that attempt. The champ is down and in a very, very bad position. Phoenix Splash. Oh. Phoenix Splash. Kick out. Cover. Out! No! Oh, he did it! He did it! Here is your winner and new United Television Champion, Adrian Quest! Great job tonight. Great job. Here, take a seat. Take a seat. Adrian, unfortunately, I did not sanction that match. Royce Isaacs does not make matches. I do. What the hell you mean? I was away on a call. Now, I would have sanctioned that match had I seen it. Unfortunately, you are not a television. Hold on, hold on. You are not the television champion. But at Milestone, you will get your opportunity. Rest up. You have a big match ahead. It is main event time. And there you see who I estimate to be the uncrowned United Television Champion. He defeated the champion, Royce Isaacs, after defeating Jamie Iovine. He jumped that hurdle. But Nico Marquez making the judgment that it was non-sanctioned, but he gets his opportunity here at Milestone. You get one more opportunity, kid. One more opportunity. Don't screw it up like you did last time.
There you see him, the captain of Jamie Iovine's upper class. The roster a little thinner as of late, as Double Platinum didn't agree to, or couldn't agree and come to terms contractually. So it's kind of down to the television champion and the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I always hated those guys. Royce Isaacs putting the gold on the line. When Adrian Quest initially made the challenge, Iovine and Isaacs kind of laughed it off. I don't think they were laughing when Young Fuego defeated the champion last time out. Although, of course, the title now we now know was not on the line. But it certainly is this time out. You know, as we can tell, defeated did not defeat because he's not wearing that title. You know, in fact, according to me, that match never even happened, Kennelly. Oh, it happened. It happened all right. And champion and challenger both know it. And how does it affect their psyche? It's coming in to this main event, television title matchup. Seconds away from action, and we go to ring announcer Adnan Qureshi to set the stage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from the Quest Coast, weighing in at 162 pounds, Young Fuego, Adrian Quest. <laughs> and introducing the champion from the Mile High City, weighing in at 232 and one half pounds, he is the team captain of Jamie Iovine's upper class and the United Television Champion, Royce Isaacs. Stage is set, what a main event we have. Can Young Fuego catch lightning in a bottle again and defeat Isaacs when the title is officially on the line? No loopholes in this one. Officially sanctioned title matchup. There's what it's all about. The United Television Championship. And since it's milestone, that championship has been a cornerstone of this, of this program. Great television champions, the likes of Scorpio Sky, Willie Mack, Bateman. Royce Isaacs. Long list, and Royce Isaacs, again the champion. Gets caught in the early going there. Young Fuego fired up, and you gotta believe the young Fuego does believe now. He knows he can beat Isaacs, but can he do it here in this championship main event? Well, he's gonna have to do it all over again. You know, the fact that you get lucky one time does not mean anything. You gotta reach down deep to pull it off again. And Royce Isaacs, the idea is that Royce Isaacs already knows his game plan, already knows his tricks, already knows all the little dirty stunts he's gonna pull, and he's not gonna have it this time, Kennelly. Bulldog, and he's got the champion rocked. In the early seconds of this matchup, sent on outside, inside, keeping the champ off balance and into the cover, looking to make quick work of Isaacs. You're not, nobody's gonna make quick work of Isaacs, Kennelly. You catch showing him your, sleeping. Showing your ignorance again, Kennelly. Talking out of your butt like you always do. Royce Isaacs not gonna be able to, 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 to let that one go. Royce Isaacs is gonna walk home exactly as he came in, the United Television Champion. Isaacs has been through some wars with that title on the line a while ago bull rope matchup with Bateman. What a bloody war that was. And now in there with a different style competitor in Young Fuego who is all fired up. That chop doesn't register, just makes him angrier. You just get a sense that there's confidence just brimming in Young Fuego. He feels that this, this is his time. Well, it's Milestone Kennelly. What, what better stage to, to, to crown that champion than, than this one. But, but you have to remember that just because you're in a big event against an amazing talent, against, with, 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 with all odds stacked against you and you did it the first time, doesn't mean you're gonna be able Hold to do it again. Here. Young Fuego will go high risk. Suicide dive, it was blocked and nullified by the champion who sends Adrian Quest into the stairs hard and heavy on the outside. That's gotta hurt, Kenley, that's gotta hurt. That's steel right there, that's not, that's not the, 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 the rings, it's not the ropes, it's solid steel right there on the back of Adrian Quest. He is hurt right now. Quest went high risk in the early going of the matchup and it cost him there. Got stopped in a big way and now just getting ragdolled by the physically dominant champion, Royce Isaacs. 
Two bits of steel uh, did Quest eat just within a minute apart, Kennelly, within a minute apart. Royce Isaacs in complete control right now. Look at him taunting the fans, and they love him, man. I love him too. Yeah, but Isaacs cannot afford to get overconfident, but Dragon, Adrian Quest all over the Ocean View Pavilion on the outside. Now back in the inside where he's gonna try and finish off the challenger into the cover now after gaining a huge advantage on the outside. You see the eyes of Isaacs right there, the determination, the tenacity, the viciousness of Isaacs is just, it's awe-inspiring to me, Kennelly. Adrian Quest, again, his challenge laughed off initially by Isaacs and Iovine. They weren't laughing after Quest beat him last time out. But, it, you know, again, it's just got to be a fire in the belly of Adrian Quest. He's come so close so many times. Can he win the big one here? And uh, Half Nelson nullified by the champion. In control right now is the champ. It continues right after this. Pro Shingle is extending their offer for just 14 more days. That's right, Pro Shingle will pay your insurance deductible up to $1,000 on a complete roof replacement. Time is running out. Call now, 901-258-6503. Championship Wrestling joins forces with Grind City Designs to bring you the all-new Championship Wrestling Shop. All styles, all sizes, featuring the legends of classic Memphis wrestling. Pickup or delivery. New Wing Order is your main event for award-winning wings featuring more than 20 flavors ranging from mild to scorching hot. New Wing Order has options for all tastes. Looking to bring that award-winning flavor to your oh pantry? Yeah. Purchase bottles of their Championship Memphis Buffalo Sauce by visiting newwingorder.com or from the fine retailers such as Blue Casey's and Tim Bowley's. I love this stuff. Book them for their services or catering at newwingorder.com or you can find the food truck by following at New Wing Order. What we do. Oh, yeah. Man, that tastes just like watermelon. That is neat. Oh, give me that can, girl. I need some more pep in my step. You're over peppy. There's a line between obnoxious and peppy. Ooh, <laughs> cold. Red Bull Summer Edition Slush. Are you or your small business looking for a tag team partner? Tag team with Championship Wrestling. That's right. Our economy comeback rates are perfect to help let your fans and customers know when you are back in action. It's simple. Go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and click contact. This is what we are doing while we socially distance ourselves. Playing football, playing video games, taking the dogs on walks. Welcome back to our main event for the United Television Championship. At the opening bell, it was all Adrian Quest. He's using his body as a projectile flying all over the place. But then one misstep, that missed suicide dive to the outside, and the champion made him pay for it. And it's been all Isaacs ever since. High risk, high reward, Kennelly. But when you don't get that reward, all you get is high defeat. That's exactly what Quest got. Jawbreaker by Adrian Quest. You can see the effects etched all over the face of the champion. Sidewalk slam, deep hook of the leg, and Quest is gonna have to contend with that size and strength advantage of the champ. I bet Quest got a real big head after he beat up Jamie Iovine. If you come in there and you take advantage of somebody who's never trained a day in his life, go in there, wipe the mat with him, and think that you're the man and had this all, all of a sudden this inspired confidence. And thanks to a few missteps by Royce, he actually takes the title away. But you know what? The reality is that Adrian Quest is not as good as Iovine or Royce, and Royce is now making him pay for his actions. That sign me power slam into the cover now. Only accounted to for the champion, Royce Isaacs, winning championship gold has been his business. Business has been very good. Current television champion, former Heritage champion, former NWA World Tag Team title holder as well. Did you see Royce's mouth right now? It is absolutely busted open. And you might be able to thank that jawbreaker for that, Kennelly. Well, you can see initially, I mean, the shock on the face after he ate that jawbreaker, it, it certainly affected 
the champion, but we've seen the champion a bloody mess in the past. We look back to that bull rope match. He will fight with every ounce of blood he's got in him to hold on to that title. You gotta figure a man that can be able to do this to people that has absolutely no regard to their well-being or their safety will do every single thing he can to, to, to take that title home with him. And now that he knows everything about Adrian Quest, now that he's already battled Adrian Quest, and he understands all of his tactics, all of his tricks, just as I mentioned before, he is definitely going to make short work of this young punk, and he'll understand not to cross Isaacs again. Covered now by the champion after that belly-to-back suplex. And I, I mentioned it earlier. With that huge power discrepancy, the champion has really ragdolled the challenger, and you saw it there again, the way he just was able to sling Quest down to the mat with that suplex. But you better be careful. You can't toy with Young Fuego. Oh, you can toy with Young Frito all you want. What does it matter? The kid's a punk. Well, it's working out for the champion right now, but better be careful when you play with fire. You might get burned. We'll see. And there you see it right there. Beautiful counter by Young Fuego. Mahistro Cradle to make history this time. He's going to no, pay for that, Kennelly. He's going to pay for it. Boom! And there it is. Make history my foot. There's your man right there, Royce Isaacs. What a clothesline. All the momentum. The athletic champion rolling through as well. Now looking to put him away. But again, only and there you see the blood trickling from the mouth of the champion after that jawbreaker might have bit his own tongue. Who knows? And look at the face of that man, Jamie Iovine, looking on with angst, looking on with anxiety, making sure that his, that, that his client is well versed in there and making sure that he's going to take home that victory. This is why this team works so well. They have that unity. They have that foundation. You know, you could, you could, you could talk about double platinum all you want and leaving or whatever. They were cowards, and they have no business being in here with Jamie Iovine and Royce Isaacs. Royce Isaacs now about to make the short work. He might be able to steal his victory right now. The power of Royce Isaacs, the balance. But look at this, how about the agility of the challenger and would-be champion able to counter into the Hurricane Rana and buy some time. Oh, this is not looking good. It's gonna come down to who wants it more. Who's gonna dig down deeper, find that little something extra with the United Television Championship on the line. And as this thing goes into deep water, that bleeding in the mouth, when you can't breathe through your nose any longer, he might not be able to breathe through his mouth either, talking about the champ. And you know what? Uh, this is the first time I've seen in a long time Jamie Iovine has this look of worry on his face he did not have coming into this match. And speaking of worry, my goodness! Didn't pay off earlier, but it does this time. Springboard into the crossbody, and down goes the champ yet again. Problem is, you can't put him away for the title here on the outside, and you gotta be leery of Iovine as well. Yes, absolutely, you have Iovine in there as a factor. You do not wanna get too close to too many enemies at once, and that's exactly what Quest has put himself into. Jamie Iovine is stepping back, giving Quest the opportunity to take advantage, and that's fine and dandy, because he has confidence that Royce is gonna be able to counter this. Challenger had the champ cornered. Champ fighting his way out, however, big super kick. Drops the champion to a knee. Can Young Fuego capitalize all the strength to get him in that fireman's carry? Death Valley driver delivers. Last ditch effort, however, slow to cover. Oh, now finds a way. Here we go. Can he hook the leg? So close. That hand was coming down. You see the strength that it had to, that, that uh, Young Frito had to take to get up the leg of Royce Isaacs. He could barely even lift that leg. That's how gassed he is. That's how tired he is. That's how broken and busted he is right now. That's the punishment from Royce Isaacs talking. Young Fuego, I'm begging you. Okay, show the guy some respect. He's in there in a hellacious battle in our main event for the television title. And you think it's cute to call him Young Frito? Okay, enough's enough. It wasn't funny the first time. I can't help it that the sheet is wrong. What do you want me to do? I didn't know you could read. Yeah, hold on, look out here. Oh, big shot oh. there, turned him inside out, my goodness. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Now into the grass, fishing for the win. Down at two. Young Fuego finds a way. Finds a way to keep fighting. I wouldn't have been able to find that way. That looked like it was really, really painful. I have never seen anybody take a, uh, I've never seen anybody flip absolutely backwards, outside, inside out like that, like Royce Isaacs did to Young Frito. This is absolutely insane. Royce is such a, 
such a great athlete as well. He's not pure power. He's got tons of torque and momentum as well. He's looking for the hush money, looking for a counter roll up. Look at this, just total control. Oh my goodness, out of the scramble, Young Fuego gets the better of it. Into the leg drop, just keeping the champ guessing, man. Adrian Quest now looking for this springboard. This is where he's absolutely most dangerous. The survivalist is the challenger. 40 ounce bounce, caught enough. Got that knee up. Champ goes down in harm's way. Only a count of two, two and three quarters. This is definitely a lot closer than I thought it would be, Kennelly. And I think it might be a little bit closer than Royce Isaacs thought it to be. Look at his eyes, look at the look of worry. Jamie Iovine is now slamming on the mat, telling his, telling Royce Isaacs to get up, get control, get in the game right now, because Royce Isaacs is a mere seconds away from losing the opportunity to walk out of oh. here with that championship. Yeah, seconds away if he hits this Phoenix Splash, going for it. Out of the way was the champ, swing and a miss by Isaacs. Round and round they go. Champ's in big trouble here, deep hook of the leg. Powers his way out. You can see, you mentioned the eyes basically rolling back in the head of Isaacs, the, the champion on the defensive. Get okay. Iovine out of there. We get Iovine out of there. Oh, that'll do it. Absolute yeah. disgusting. He has no business doing that. He wasn't even in the match. No, 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 no. Look out here. The Superman punch. Now the hush money from the outside. And still, Kennelly, and still. Not yet. Ah. Here is your winner, and still United Television Champion, Royce Isaac. Heartbreak City for the challenger. Came so close if he had hit that Phoenix Splash, but what on earth was Jamie Iving doing on the outside? That distraction, in my estimation, really cost Young Fuego, Adrian Quest, and then that huge hush money from the outside gets it done. Somehow, some way, Royce Isaacs finds a way. And look at now, it's just there an exhausted, is. the loser. Whoa, what is this? That's, that's Andy Brown. Oh, I know what this means, Kennelly. Maybe Uptown Andy Brown looking to bolster the ranks, but Adrian Quest having no part of it. You can't run forever, Quest. Victory, big victory by Royce Isaacs here with the title on the line in our main event. Part three of Milestone coming your way next week. Welcome back. Tough break for Adrian Quest after having to relinquish the United TV title only to lose the rematch. That was from episode 41 on our official YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling. To sum everything up we've seen today, Adrian Quest and Andy Brown are now the United World Tag Team Champions okay. and Ray Rosas is the B3 Cup bearer. Altogether, they're known as Static. There you go. And Ray Rosas, I haven't forgotten about you yet. There are a lot of people out there that can't wait to watch me punch your lights out. The kind of face I'd like to slap. <laughs> Join us again next week for another action-packed episode of Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. Zicky Dice will be in action against Anthony Idol. Outlandish indeed. Plus, oh, the Wolf Zaddies are in action. The big men from Meat Mountain, Che Cabrera, and Bad Dude Tito. And in our main event, it's a Fatal 4-Way women's match. I can't wait for this one. Lacey Ryan, Sandra Moon, Simone Cherry, and Heather Monroe in a fatal four-way. Oh, yeah! I will also have a special report from our friends at EPW in Boonville, Mississippi. All that and so much more. He's Dustin. I'm Maria. See you next week.